back to The Maker's Gonna Learn. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I feel like we always have to look at each other like, I know, are we like, sure? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Where are y'all tuning in from today? Um, me and Lauren are super excited to be here. We're like two minutes late because we had a really good content meeting this morning. Really, really good content meeting. Good enough to hurt your brain. Hurts the brain. <laughs> The brain so, is hurting. Lauren's, the brain was hurting yesterday. Right, for me. Lauren's coming off of a migraine anyway. So, <laughs> but you know what? We're here. We are doing it, and we're going to be talking about um, all of the ways that you can use HTV, like all of the different surfaces. And like mm -hmm. I didn't before I was playing around with HTV, I didn't realize that you. Could, I mean, anything. Like the limits are endless. Really and truly, like what we are doing today is going to be more of like a mini lab. Yeah. So we're not doing like a full project today. We're just talking about all of the different ways that you can use HTV, mm -hmm. um, what surfaces you can put them on, and right. what I love about this is we're going to refer back to our Cricut uh, reference guide. Yes. The new Cricut Trusty. Bible. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So that's going to be fun. And if you're, if you're new and you're like, what's the Cricut Bible? Like, we're going to show you. Yeah. It's, we will go into that. Yeah. Um, it is a reference guide that we have put together for our members. If you have um, gotten grandfathered in, you will be receiving one. If you want to get grandfathered in, um, you can do that at our absolute lowest price today. And we will get you the reference guide and the scraper tool. Mm -hmm. um, if you have been, if you have been, if you've not, if you've been with Makers Gonna Learn, but you haven't been to our channel here recently, and you have been grandfathered in, let's say two, three years ago, however long, right. um, you all you have to do is email us, and we will get you that. We will get that reference guide sent out to you because we just want to say thank you to our members. Yes, and honestly, so handy. The burnishing tool in itself, so handy. So. Mm -hmm. Lots of good little perks, especially for our members yes. always. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be doing like a mini project today. Just a little mini one. Yeah, we're going to be putting, we're going to be combining HTV and permanent vinyl. So yes, if, if you didn't know you could do that. Yes, and you I can. feel like this is really helpful in times where you're like, I really need this specific color. And I think that's how we first did it. So that's how, um, which I kind of, knew that you could, but I had never played around with it. Right. But it was one of those things where I was doing a project and I was like, I need this color permanent vinyl, mm -hmm. but we don't have it, but we have it in HTV. Right. So let's figure out how to do it. Let's yeah. make it work. And, and so, so that's how we did that. Yes. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, should we go ahead and just like kind of get into it? I say let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So, I've got lots of different things on the table today. Um, obviously, we've got some like tools for our actual craft project. So, first of all, can we just take a moment for this um, HTV that Patrick Ali sent us from uh, yes. Caesar? This Love it. is literally so beautiful. It's called Mood Ring. Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed. This is giving me like late 90s, early 2000s, right? Mm -hmm. I'm upset. Lisa Frank, all oh the good gosh. stuff. Um, so this is HTV. So this is heat transfer vinyl. And then we have our permanent vinyl here. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be just putting like a decal on a stainless steel tumbler. You do not have to, this will be our first one. You do not have to put permanent vinyl behind HTV to apply HTV to a stainless steel tumbler. You can apply HTV directly to a stainless steel tumbler. Like, yeah, I mean, why not just cut a little heart while you're cutting out whatever decal you do? And show And just show them how to do it, like, on the bottom or something. Yeah, because literally, like, you can just iron it onto the tumbler. Which, and it, it's very permanent. Like, I was very surprised at how well they lasted. I wish I had the one that we did originally because it's, like, I feel like it'd still be on there. Um, so it adheres really well. I've just got a, um, a Nicopa mat. This is a strong grip mat, but standard grip will be just fine when you're cutting vinyl. I have a uh, Maker's Gonna Learn scrape or uh, spatula tool, a brayer. And we've got our mini um, Easy Press right here, tried and true. We love the mini Easy Press. And then in front of me, I've got different materials that you can apply HTV to. So if you're new to the cricketing world and you're like, what even is HTV? It's heat transfer vinyl. So 
you apply the vinyl to the object and then you heat it with a mini press, a steamless iron, anything like that. We recommend the mini press and then like the other Cricut presses. And then for bigger projects, we use an actual like clamshell heat press. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a little aggressive for the types of projects you're probably going to be doing. I feel like a heat press is good for like people who make t-shirts for like a business. Yeah. Or if you're really into sublimation or something like yeah. that. Um, so we're just kind of, we want to keep it basic. Like this is just bare bones of Cricut, which is great. This is a great starting point. So we've got a couple different things. I have this picture right here. I'll go overhead. This is like a burlap. burlap. Yeah. It's like a burlapy material. Um, Canvas. So yeah, almost like a canvas. Yeah. Honestly, it looks like the needle punch material. It's called monk cloth, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is a really nice material and this is HTV on here. So we cut this out with the Cricut and then we applied it with heat. I love that. And then this one always gets people um, painted stainless steel. So this is a pizza pan that we did for, um, did we do this for boot camp? I can't remember. I think so, yeah. It was recently. Um, but we applied HTV on top of the paint that was on the stainless steel. So don't be scared to try new stuff. I mean, test it out, but like, don't be scared. And then we have um, this t-shirt. So obviously everyone thinks HTV you can put on a t-shirt. That's pretty like basic knowledge. Um, this was like a bleach t-shirt that we did for, I think for a boot camp or something. Yep. Um, love that. And then if we can go to camera one, you all can see this beautiful little um, lantern that Lauren made. If y'all can guess what this is made out of, you get a gold star for me today. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's um, going to guess. So the video for this one will be coming out in yes. the next week or so. Yes. But what Alicia was wanting to highlight is that I used HTV on the painted wood. Yes. So, so you on can the front see, part of it, I use HTV on painted wood. It says, I don't want these to fall out. It says, let your light shine. So I don't want this to be upside down. Let me show y'all. We'll go overhead. So this is like a foil HTV on here, and it says, let your light shine. So pretty. So there's that. This project is so cute, and I was a little worried. I was like, listen, that project sat on my desk. How long is it? At least a months. month. Um, yeah, forever. At least a month, because I was like, there's no way I can make this cute. I knew, I knew Lauren could do it because she could make anything cute, but I was like, if it's going to be, it's better than what I was going to do. In my brain, I had already put a red truck in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had some, uh, in my brain, I had some, like, those little uh, bottle brush trees. You've already got two that's guessed it. Oh, did y'all guess it? Okay, y'all yep. are y'all must be frequent crafters, okay? I feel like the people that are that craft a lot know this project. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, so, let me go. I'm going to go back into design space. I'm going to turn off all of this business right here. So, we're just going to, like, go onto the website and pick a random file. Nothing crazy. Um, we want to do something that's kind of goes with our little psychedelic mood ring um, vinyl here. So let's pull this up. I'm going to move this over. So while Alicia is looking, let I want you all to, if you have questions about materials that you are wondering, can I put HTV on this material? Drop that material below. And because this is a mini live, we're really wanting to interact with you guys. So if there is something that I can run out and get and we can test it and show you that it works, does it work, does it not work? You know, if, we, if we've if we tested it, we're going to tell you yes or no. If we've not and we have the material here, you know what, y'all? I'm going to head out into our craft room. We're going to grab it and we're going to test it with you guys. Yeah, I would love to try some new stuff. So I'm going to pull in this not in the mood file because, like, it's perfect, right? Right. And it's, like, wavy and psychedelic. Y'all know I'm about that life. Okay, let's delete out anything we were doing before. I'm just gonna go to upload and then I'm gonna select upload image and then I'm gonna drag and drop this SVG into Design Space. We've already got one that I that somebody was asking what is it? about. Acrylic keychain. Oh, I cannot find we did an acrylic table number project that we need to re refilm. Um, that you know what I'm talking about? Yep. That was acrylic, HTV on acrylic. I know. I don't know where it's at. It's so pretty. Do you want me to go grab it? Do you know where it is? I think so. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, because it's so. So okay, cute. we've got cork, which I know we have a project with it on we cork. Do. We I do. know where it's at. Glass. Uh huh. Glass, okay. cork, acrylic. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> 
So while Lauren does that, I went ahead and pulled in this not in the mood file. Um, I pulled in the SVG. What we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna contour out all of these little baby like things. I don't really feel like I need to really cut those out. So I'm just gonna select contour and then hide all contours. And we just wanna keep the letters and obviously the middle of the O's and the D. Okay, oh, the M was already contoured out. Y'all, I used to get so backwards trying to do contour. I'll tell you what. So we'll keep our smiley faces too. You can keep the little etch, like the little things um, if you want to, but I just thought I would take those out. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be working with. Let me measure um, the space that we're gonna be putting this in because, let me grab a burnishing tool. Oh, I've moved it, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do, can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm gonna measure just the area that I wanna put this in. So I'm thinking like three and a half and then no taller than about three and a half. So let's go back into design space and make sure that this image is gonna fit within those parameters. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my image is locked and I'm gonna change my width to three because I'm gonna be adding an offset. So I need a little bit of room to add that offset. So we've got this here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add a small offset. I'm just gonna do like a 0.15. Oh, great, you found them all. Actually, let's do like a 0.2, see what that looks like. E. Y'all, I get really anal about my um, <laughs> offset sizes. Okay, 0.17, that's looking cloudy and cute. I like that. I am gonna contour out this little area in the middle. So I'm just gonna make sure the offset layer is selected over here and then I'm gonna hit contour and hide all contours. So this is kind of like the end result. So the back panel is gonna be our permanent vinyl in this scenario. Um, so let's just do it like, should we do it in black? And then the words in the rainbow, like the psychedelic rainbow color. I don't yeah. have that option in my colors, but we'll make it orange. Yeah. Um, is that cute? Or would you be able to read it more if the psychedelic color was in the back and the solid color? Oh, that, that would, that's don't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, JK. I, I was thinking that because that would, <laughs> that really would probably be really cute. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Um, yeah, let's do the black. And you know what? I may slice out those smiley faces and make them orange. Would that be too bougie? Yeah, let's just do simple today. So we're gonna do psychedelic and the or where the orange is and then we're gonna do black for the black. And this is it. So that would be all that you need to do. And I just wanna make sure that my sizing is good here. So we're at 3.3, .3, so we know we're gonna fit width wise and height is 2.7, so we're like in there. So what you're gonna wanna do next is hit make it. And so for this portion, since we're using regular vinyl and heat transfer vinyl, our regular vinyl is going to stay the same direction, but our heat transfer vinyl needs to be mirrored. So I'm going to keep my black just as it is. I'm going to come down to this layer, which is our HTV layer, and I'm going to mirror it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll select continue. And my Cricut's not on. But while that's adjusting, Lauren brought... Oh, you we're going to try it on glass. Okay, okay, so we've got the glass to try it on. Why don't you just go ahead and, uh, yeah, just, I was gonna say you could cut the same thing, not in the mood, we three can just, different times. Um, yeah, we can do that. Let's see, let's go back for a second. I don't know, that might be crazy. To, no, because we're doing HTV, it'll be fine. Let's just do three. I don't really want to do three of the blacks, but it's okay. We can get rid of those. Yeah. Okay, and we want to make sure to mirror that. We you don't can delete those. Yeah, we don't need these extra blacks because we're just using the black on the stainless steel tumbler because I want to show you all how to iron on HTV on top of permanent vinyl. Okay, so then we're going to select continue, and we're using a maker today to do this. So let me put my vinyl on here and it looks like it's going to prompt us to cut our HTV first. So I'm going to go ahead and take the label off of this possibly if it'll let me get it. It's okay. We'll put it at the bottom. 
So I'm gonna put this to the top left corner. Just line this up like so. And then this mat's pretty sticky, so I'm not worried too much about it, but we can braid down the edges to make sure it does not move. So when you use HTV, you're gonna wanna put the shiny side down. In this case, we're putting the pattern side down. And then we are going to go into design space and select everyday iron on. Every, every day, every, every day. day, every day iron on. Does it, well, every day iron on mesh, does anyone know what that even is? I've never used that. It's like the, it, it looks like, it's got like the holes in it. I think it's more like of an athletic. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I might know what you're It's a very about. athletic look. Okay. Like a That's jersey. Cool. That's cool. Um, yes, Kim, I do need to resize those, but let's just measure the acrylic piece because I feel like this acrylic piece is three inches, which is I'm the measurement. Sure it is. I'm like, yeah, I'm like 90% sure it is. And if nothing else, you can just take the smiley face off of one of them and. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Now it'll be a little bit small it's on It's going to be very small. But we're just, we're just piddling around. This is how we test stuff in the studio, you guys. Yep. This is like literally how we do it. We'll just cut a bunch of stuff and test it out. I was playing around with wood burning yesterday. It was, it was a good fun time. So does anybody have any questions so far? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Cricut Easy Press to, we won't put it at the first, first heat setting. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna get too crazy because we're working with vinyl and like the tack and like, I don't want it to melt it. Well, you have to do it on a heat setting of one um, when you're doing it, when you're putting it on permanent vinyl. Um, because there is, and that's the thing, is you have to think about the material that you are applying the heat transfer vinyl to. Right. Um, you need, it needs to be hot enough to, to adhere, but also it needs to be... Um, cool enough not to melt. Right. Yeah. And um, when y'all buy acrylic pieces, make sure that there is no <laughs> plastic on them before you go in and start, you know, getting crazy. So, um, Kathy asks, if you're using patterned HTV without the sheet, you don't put it upside down. So, this is patterned HTV that has the carrier sheet. If you're doing printable HTV that does not have a carrier sheet, or if you're doing, like, um, Caesar DTV, you do not you, you do not mirror, if because it's printable uh, HTV. Right. There is the StarCraft for dark materials. You do not... Um, you do not You don't mirror, technically have to. But the StarCraft for light yeah. materials, you do. There is the, the, also the Avery for light materials you have to mirror. I mean, it just depends on what material you have. But if you're doing pattern, this pattern vinyl does have the carrier sheet. Yeah, and most of them do unless it's the printable. Like, most of them have the carrier sheet. If this doesn't have the carrier sheet on it, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> um, Nikita also asked about cardboard. I can try to go grab some cardboard maybe here in a minute. Um, but Lisa said, what is the difference between iron-on and everyday iron-on? I think Cricut brand is everyday. I have HTV I've got on Amazon and I select iron-on. Do I select iron-on or everyday iron-on? Honestly, Lisa, for pretty much all HTV, if it's just regular HTV, I will use everyday iron on. I almost always use everyday iron on for um, like 90%. You can't take those off the corner. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Is that allowed? Yeah, that's fine. That's that's what I was testing with my cork stuff when I was to doing. To see if it would attach. When I, was, <laughs> when I was putting together, helping Courtney put together the um, Cricut reference guide, that is what I used for my cork to, to see test. what to, see, to test what materials would um, adhere to it. Yeah, so if y'all are haven't seen inside of this Cricut reference guide, I'll just show you. So uh -oh. when you what? Kathy said one four three sells pattern slash printed HTV that doesn't have a carrier sheet. Well, y'all, let's cross our fingers. That's not what I grabbed today. No, that's Caesar. So oh, she's just oh, saying. Oh, okay. one, I, I'm assuming it's the one four three. Um, if it, yeah, like if a patterned HTV doesn't have a carrier sheet, then yeah, you're probably not, you're not going to mirror it and you're going to have to use um, special transfer tape, HTV transfer tape. Sorry. It's okay. You're going to have to use <laughs> HTV transfer tape to um, transfer it over. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side for a second and I'm going to go ahead and apply the 
black vinyl. I have got a lot of things on my table for the moment. We also had someone ask about plastic. So once again, it's just, you have to think about the, um, the weight of your plastic. If you have a thicker or a thicker plastic or a higher weight plastic that's not gonna melt under heat, right. then you will be able to add HTV. Um, if you have a thinner plastic that's gonna melt under heat, then... And just don't yeah. go in willy-nilly and just be like, I'm gonna iron this giant piece of HTV onto a thin plastic, because you wanna make sure, like do a tester spot or like get, if you've got two ornaments that you wanna try it on, like try it on a, uh -huh. a flop ornament that you're not worried about. And that way you don't like mess up everything that you, you know. Aaron asked, how would you do stretched canvas and can you sublimate on stretched canvas? So you can add HTV onto stretched canvas. Um, oh, here is a Cricut. Nope, that's not the Cricut reference guide. Here. <clears throat> we do have, I'm pretty sure in our reference guide, we have cut settings, canvas. Yes, everyday iron on or HTV. You're gonna do it 340 degrees for 30 seconds, or if you have a mini easy press, it's gonna be medium for 25 seconds. Um, now, as far as sublimating on stretched canvas, canvas is a cotton material, so you cannot sublimate on cotton. You have to have some type of um, polymer, or like a, if you wanted to sublimate on a canvas, you would do like the HTV Rant Clear, um, Kind of like easy subly. Yeah, you could do HTV Rant um, clear HTV vinyl and then sublimate on top of that. But yeah. you can't sublimate straight to the canvas. Right. Okay, so I'm going to, let's start by doing our stainless steel tumbler. I went ahead, I cleaned this with alcohol and let it dry so that there's no like fingerprints or anything like that on it. And then I'm just going to weed our black permanent vinyl out first and I'm just cutting around here. We're just gonna weed this out. And I cut this on just a premium vinyl setting, just basic cut setting for regular vinyl. And then we need to weed this psychedelic mood ring color. So Martha, the reason we are doing this, we did talk about this in the beginning, but the reason we're doing this is to show you guys that you can put HTV on permanent vinyl. For example, if you don't have the correct color permanent vinyl and you're wanting to layer like vinyl and vinyl, if you have the correct color perm or HTV, you can layer HTV on top of permanent vinyl. Right, and like I don't have this mood ring color in regular vinyl, but I wanna use it so I can apply it on top of this permanent vinyl and it's gonna give me the same effect that I was looking for. And I'm gonna weed out these teeny weeny smiley faces. Y'all, I love HTV because it weeds so well, especially Caesar HTV. If you all ever struggle with HTV and you're using like not Caesar brand, just switch. Just switch over. So <laughs> it's so good. We did have a couple people ask. Um, Vera said, I don't have the heat press, just a regular iron. And then Elizabeth said, I have a traditional heat press instead of an easy press. Are the times and temperatures in the guide the same for traditional heat presses? So we do have, I will tell you this, I did use a Cricut easy press, but the time, the temperatures should be the same. Um, if you want to double check your temperatures, what I would do is take a, like a, one of those thermometers that you can like the heat thermometers that you can shoot it. Yeah. I don't know, and test it to see if the temperatures are the same. But yes, that we do, if you don't have an easy press, we also have the like 330 degrees, which you can do on a regular iron. You can put that temperature on a regular iron and then for the 30 seconds and the time. So it should be the same. If it doesn't work for you, um, it may be every machine, even let's just talk about the differences between each different mini easy press or each different easy press. It's a machine and there can be some discrepancies right. in each they're, machine. They're always they're gonna always going to be different, mm -hmm. a little bit different. So you just kind of, that, that's the general time and temperature that we do. Yeah. Which will, I would say, 90 to 95% of the time work. Yeah. But there may be, you know, you may have to go up or down five degrees depending right. on what machine you have. And if you find something that works for you, write it in your reference guide. That way next time when you come back to it, you're like, oh yeah, that's the heat settings. Yeah. Um, so what I've done here is I went ahead and layered 
my HTV on top of my offset so you all can see what this looks like. Cute, that right? That looks so good. I know. I'm obsessed. This is like totally my vibe. I'm, I'm loving it. So I'm on, remember, we're doing a very light heat setting. And I can't remember if I put a piece of paper in between this. And or should we just iron it and just I see just what iron happens? It. Yep. All right. So we're just going to iron it. We're just going to be very You careful. may want to use, I wouldn't, just kind of swap over it though. Like don't hold it on and just kind of swap over it. Okay. 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 And then. And let's just see. Hold on. Where's my weeder? And then if it doesn't work, you can, well, I'm going to go grab something for you. No, it's quick. doing fine. Ooh, look how pretty. Uh-oh, okay. This so may I, also, also make a difference. Yes, and listen, don't be like me because I never use the mat because I didn't learn a lot of stuff on the mat, and so now I'm like, eh, I don't want to use mat. But the mat is so helpful, the little mat that comes with your heat presses. Okay, y'all, look at it. Just look at it. Look how cute. I'm obsessed with this. Also, Robin asked, you did a short video on foiling stickers. Please share the materials used. Um, good thing that you asked that, Robin. We're <laughs> actually going to be coming out with a full tutorial um, here in the next couple, like in the next week or so. Very soon. Yes. Okay, so this is pretty like chunky design, so I don't really need transfer tape here. I'm just going to brave it. I'm just going to pull it off like it's a regular sticker, and then we are just going to apply this. It's going to bother me that it's not in the front. Okay. Here we go. And then we're just going to apply this right on to our piece. Kind of doing the taco method here and then smoothing everything out. And how freaking cute is that, y'all? I love it. So quick, so easy. Like literally, and this is a $5 Dollar Tree tumbler. So there you go, Dollar Tree project for the day. Yep. Okay, so we've got that one. Now let's test our other one. So we've got a glass, these are like good for like the memorial projects that people do. Mm -hmm. um, you can do lots of different crafts with these little glass buddies. And then what? where's my other little, were we going to do it on? No, you know our other piece. Glass is not in here. I did not test on glass, but we're going to test on glass today, y'all. Listen, add a little note at the bottom of your ref guide. There's a, there's a place right <coughs> here for little notes on the bottom of your ref guide. There you go. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna weed these out really quick and then we are going to, we're gonna use the same heat settings for these. So I'm just gonna keep um, it at the lowest setting and we'll see what happens. If it doesn't adhere, we can turn up the settings. Acrylic, I would turn it up. Actually glass and acrylic both, I would turn it up. Do we wanna put it on two or yes, three? I would put just it on two. two. Is there, mm -hmm. I rarely use the third heat setting for HTV. I will say that. Yeah. Like, it's not very calm. I'm trying to even think of anything that I've done that with. Okay, Christina asks a really good question. I bought HTV and permanent vinyl on Amazon. I accidentally got them mixed up. How do I tell them apart? Um, so your HTV is going to have like a plastic on one side and then it's gonna feel like you can feel the vinyl on the other side. Your permanent vinyl is going to have a backer like a um, kind of like a cardstock backer, and you're going to be able to peel it away from that backer. Like this, this is permanent, and usually it's, a lot of times they'll have like a brand or something, or like it feels paper, and that's yeah. regular permanent vinyl. This is HTV. It's like shiny and smooth, and you can't really separate it from the contact or from the transfer sheet as easy as you could with regular vinyl. So. Whenever you have them both in your hands, I feel like you can definitely tell a difference when you're holding them, like right in front of you. Did I pick up my, yes. <laughs> I picked up my little HTV. Okay, so we've got this one here. Let's go ahead and do our glass piece first. So, I'm just gonna- We're just testing right, hand, right now. This we is don't- a, This is a test. I'm gonna put it in the middle because this, I don't. y'all can't see it, but there's like a raised edge. And I just don't feel like I want to iron it there. Okay. So we're going to put that right there. I'm on the medium heat setting. And I would do 30 seconds for sure. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. That's just my guesstimation. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it. I'm counting in my head. Or the good thing about, you don't have to, I would move it around still. But the good thing about HTV is you can tell when it starts adhering because the HTV will start bubbling up. Yeah, you can see the little bubbles whenever it's adhered. 
It's almost like the bubbles are forming because the HGV is releasing from the transfer tape yes. onto whatever you're applying it to. Okay. I can see little tiny bubbles. It's harder to see on the patterned HGV. I will say that. But you can definitely see it. And then you want to peel your transfer up slowly. That way, if it isn't adhered, you're not stretching the vinyl. And it's typically a warm peel, unless you're doing the printable HGV. Those are a little different. They are, are all different. Perfect. Perfect. That's cute. It worked good. So 30-ish seconds, um, medium heat setting. Heat setting. Two. Yep. Medium heat setting. And let me be 100 per, Let me double <coughs> check on this, but I'm pretty sure... Um, I'll tell you the, t the temperatures for the second setting, like the actual temperature. I'm gonna just weed this one out. The next thing we're gonna try is the acrylic. Let's just see what happens. And this one actually worked, previously has worked really well for me. So, um, and I did it on a little bit thinner of a piece of acrylic. So I think we're gonna have good results, but we'll see. I'll stay optimistic. I love this file, y'all. This is so cute. If I can, I, it's hard to see the eyeball. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, acrylic says medium for twenty. Medium and for twenty. And from our per hour uh, reference guide. Okay. So we've got our acrylic piece. I've got my transfer. It's gonna go off the edges, but we are committed. I swear I made this smaller than three inches. Okay, here we go. We are just testing it out. So 20 seconds, we're on a medium heat setting. What I'll probably have to do is trim off the edges before I pull the transfer tape off. And you honestly, you can tell, the more you play with HTV, the more you can tell that uh -huh. it's on there. Right. So I'm just going to trim, should I trim it? Yeah. I'm going to trim it because it's not going to pull, the, when I pull that transfer off, it's going to try to pull my HTV off, which is fine because this is literally just like for testing purposes only. So Sherry asked, will HTV work on ceramic, like on ceramic mugs? Yes. Yes, it will. I was about yes. to say, I think I've done that. Yes. Okay, so like ignore the fact that it's going over the edges, um, but it definitely is adhered. Like it's on there, y'all. Mm -hmm. This would have been really cute if uh, it didn't go off the edges. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. These are the three that we did today. So how many? We've got wood, cork, stainless steel, acrylic, glass, painted stainless steel, cotton, and... Uh, burlap. Yeah. So that's eight at least. And like you can do more. So, so my suggestion is when you are, if you are curious, will HTV work on this? This is how I, when we were putting together the Cricut reference guide, this is how I did this is I took a piece of HTV that I didn't, we don't use a lot of, like not one of our highly used, H I just took like some scraps. Yeah. I cut like little square pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I did this for the glitter HTV, for pretty much what we've got in here. Right. And then I took all of my different materials and I laid them out. And then, so I would cut one for like the low heat setting to see how long it would take it for the low heat setting and what it would do. Mm -hmm. And then I'd let it sit. Does it peel up? Then I would do it for the medium and then for the high. Um, so that way you know if there is something that we don't have in our Cricut Reference Guide, you can test that out yourself. Like that's yeah. just cut off these little, just cut off little squares. You don't have to cut something with your Cricut. Right. Just cut off the little squares of HTV, place it on what you are wondering, will this HTV stick to it? Um, like I said, if it's plastic, I would start on a low temperature setting. I would start on one. Try it from there. Doesn't melt the plastic. What's going on? Like, right. You know what I mean? Take notes. Yeah. I'm a note taker. I have to take notes to remember anything that I do, especially in the craft room because we just do so much. And I'm like, I need to remember that this is the exact settings and all that. Um, and you can just learn so much more when you're able to refer back to things that you've done in the past. Yeah. So, um, so you can get the, we, I had a lot of people ask about the Caesar, um, 
easy. It's called Caesar Easy Pattern HTV. Yeah. Um, it's in the Mood Ring. Um, Mood Ring. You can just Google that. It will come up. I was looking on um, 143, 143 and they do not have it. Oh, they, they don't have that to. pattern specifically um, that I saw. But we'll, I'll try well, again. Well, Caesar sent it to us. So it probably mm -hmm. came just directly from the Caesar website if I had a guess. Yeah. Um, but y'all, their HTV is so good. Like that pattern, pattern HTV is beautiful. Their solid colors are amazing. Like they're just significantly better mm -hmm. than any other heat transfer vinyl that we use. Like every time. It's almost flawless every time. If I have my cut settings right, like I'm going to, I can count on it to do what it needs yeah. to do. So. Does anyone have any questions about it? Um, so Kathy said, I had trouble getting HTV to stick to Easter baskets this year. That's all going to depend on the texture of the basket. Yes. So like if it's a woven basket, it will probably be harder to stick to it. Um, if it's like a, just like a plastic basket, mm -hmm. um, it, I don't know, it, it's, does or it? if it's fabric, it could be like one of the little burlapy ish, like the fabric yeah. ones. You may just need to put something behind it to give you some pressure underneath even. Like, I don't know if you, you don't want to use your hand, but like something that's going to fill up your basket. So mm -hmm. when you apply pressure, it's really like able to adhere better. Yeah. Um, so it just depends on the material of your actual basket. So Robin asked, how much is the membership? I'm so glad that you asked that. We are running our Christmas sale right now. Mm -hmm. um, we are still using the code BEST for $40 off of our membership. This is going to be the cheapest that you're gonna get our membership once you get, um, once you sign up and you're, at that point you are grandfathered in when you use code BEST, meaning you're not gonna pay any more than $151.88 ever. Right. Um, but you're going to get our Cricut reference guide and our scraper tool sent to you. Um, you're going to get access to thousands. I think we're up to 11,000 plus yes. cut files now. Um, hundreds of fonts. All the Cricut education. We are relaunching our 30 days to master your Cricut here in the next couple of days, which we are super excited about. We've worked real hard on that Very one. hard on that one. <laughs> um, but we're going to be doing, you'll get the inspiration, education, motivation to really master your cricket and get that out. So yes, we, we love, obviously we love our membership. We hope that you yeah. guys do too. We put so much work into this for you all. Yes. And the 30 days to master your cricket, like in itself, like it's not a separate course that comes with the membership, which is yeah. amazing because it's full. I mean, if y'all can do the 30 days to master your cricket, whenever mm -hmm. we re-release it, you're going to be like good to go. Like, you're going to know all the basics. You're going to be able to start making things for holidays, making things for birthdays, all, yep. all of the good stuff. So I'm really excited for you all to watch that. So Jennifer asked a really good question as well. Is it best to place direct heat on HTV or use a sheet on top like parchment paper? So that's going to, I think it, it's going to depend project to project. Mm -hmm. um, if I, normally I do direct heat to the heat transfer vinyl. However, if I'm layering HTV, you want to have a bare, like if you, if you're, let's say you are layering HTV and you pulled up your carrier sheet and you actually you threw it away or you got rid of it, you are, so you're going to need that barrier between the direct heat and the other HTV that you've already put down on your project. Right. So in that instance, I would say use a Teflon sheet, use parchment paper, use something to protect the other HTV mm -hmm. from the direct heat because there's yeah. not a carrier sheet. But, you know, nine times out of 10, I just go straight heat to the heat I mean, because it's got the carrier sheet on it. So right. there's protection there immediately. Now, if you use printable HTV, your Teflon sheet's like your best bet. Um, parchment mm -hmm. or butcher's paper and copy paper. No, it's not going to be good. You can use um, a HTV like transfer. Yeah. But you need to let it cool completely. That's why I love a Teflon sheet because I'm not patient. <laughs> if I use a Teflon sheet, I can just peel it off right, right. when I'm done. So um, there's different things for different HTVs. You just have to kind of follow the instructions and like make sure you're following the guidelines. Right. So. All right. So yeah. Okay. Oh, Kathy said she found the HTV on the Walmart app. Well, there, there you go. go. They're getting necklaces. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw the thumbnail. They're so cute. They're like those little tiny bar necklaces. They're tiny, tiny bar necklaces. And they're like, we're like engraving on them with a cricket, which yep. just blows my mind. So we'll be back tomorrow at 12 to do that. And yeah. All Sounds right. It's good. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.